All right. So uh, last week we kicked off uh, tr all about triangles. First, we started with similar triangles. And then something that's much different, I believe, is, is trigonometry, where we're looking at the relationship between the sides and the angles of triangles. All right. Now, uh, this is kind of leaving off where we left off last week and where we were finding the sides inside of a right triangle. Here, we're looking at finding the angles inside of a right triangle. And if you had no problems uh, figuring out the sides, the steps are almost the same except for the ending. All right. So uh, if you didn't, if you did struggle with finding the length of the side of a triangle, this is also a good uh, review because again, the steps are the same except for the ending. All right. So example one here, I'm going to uh, find my unknown angle. And so I've got uh, my unknown angle, which is theta. And then I have two sides. I have a 45 and an 82. And again, the sides of a triangle have names uh, based on this angle and based on my right angle. Uh, so we have three different sides. We have our opposite, our hypotenuse, and our adjacent. Now, the right angle, always across from it, is the hypotenuse. We don't have that. So these sides here are either the opposite or the adjacent. Uh, and again, based off of our angle theta, if I go across from it, that is the opposite. So 82 is our opposite. So write that down. All right, and then again, that makes 45 have to be our adjacent. It's the side beside the angle. So that's our first step. Write down the information that you know. Now, the second step is which trig ratio do you have to use? Again, you do not get to choose. You have to use the one that in this case includes the opposite and the adjacent. And so again, that's where I have those phrases to try to remember those uh, three trig ratios. Uh, sine on highway, opposite and hypotenuse. No, nope, don't have the hypotenuse. Uh, cozy at home, at adjacent, home, hypotenuse. I have the adjacent, but again, I got no high bodies. Well, now I'm down to my third one. Tan on arms, opposite and the adjacent. So I'm going to use my tan ratio. So I've got tan theta. Again, tan on arms, so that's opposite. Again, divide by my adjacent. All right, there's my second step. Third step, plug our information in and solve for this time theta. That's where the ending gets a little bit different. All right, so we have tan theta. Let's make sure I get things in the right order here. The opposite is the 82, so it's on the top. The adjacent is my 45. All right, now, 82 divided by 45, that's a fraction. That's just a divided by question that hasn't been done yet. So I can figure out that. I can take 80, or 82 divided by 45. That's going to be one point something. Let's see here, I get... 1.822, all right, now, here's how our ending's different, and this is something we had on uh, day, Thursday now, all right, we have tan theta equals 1.822, we have the ratio, we want the angle, so this is where we use, because I have tan theta here, I use that tan inverse, or tan to the negative one, so that's where you have to put a second function, hit that little second function, the top left button on your calculator, the tan, so you get this tan inverse, and then put in your 1.822, and that will give us our angle. And again, you got to make sure your calculator's in degree mode. You don't want to press all the right buttons, get all the wrong answers. Uh, and so if I do that, tan inverse, and I have my calculator in degree mode, I get 61.24 degrees. There we go. So again, same steps, writing out our information, figure out which trig ratio we have to use, sub in our information, and then solve. All right, let's try another one of those guys. So I got example two over there. Uh, again, find theta. So that's the, uh, where we're gonna have our question mark. All right, we don't know that. All right, so again, those sides, 30 and 45, uh, I got to figure out what they represent. All right, again, across from my right angle. 
There's my hypotenuse. So I got my hypotenuse is 45. Okay, so uh, what's that 30? Well, there's our theta here. And again, the side across from theta, that's our opposite. So I got the hypotenuse and the opposite. So there's step one. Step two, which trig ratio do I have to use? So uh, sine on highway, uh, on highway. Ah, it's the sine ratio already. All right, so that's the trig ratio I have to use. So I have sine theta, uh, sine on highway, so that's the opposite, uh, divided by the hypotenuse. Oops. All right, so there's my second step. Third step, I'm going to sub my information in. All right, so I have uh, sine theta. Make sure I get things in the right order here. Uh, 30's on the top, that's my hypotenuse. 45's on the bottom, that's my, my hypotenuse. Uh, 30 was my opposite, so now I'm going to divide, because I can figure out 30 divided by 45. I believe that's 0. 0.6, uh, 0.67. Yeah, 0.67. Two thirds. Okay, and now I have the sine ratio, but I want the angle, so this time I'm going to use sine inverse, all right, to get my angle. And that, uh, if I type that in, again, got out of my calculator degree mode, and I type that in, and I'm getting uh, 41.81 degrees. There we go. All right, I'm just going to do one more of those, because, again, they're... All the same method. There's no tricks to be had here. All right, so let's see here. Sample three. Make sure it's nice and dry. Uh, let's see here. I got a right angle triangle. And shows the right angle triangle. Of course, put a little box there. Uh, this is the angle I'm looking for right here, theta. And I'm going to put a 62 here and a 150 here. All right, so there we go. Now, again, this triangle is all twisted upside down and everything. But again, it's, uh, you, we're looking for a theta. And again, looking for a given information. First thing I always do is I look at the right angle because I know the side across from it. That's my hypotenuse. So uh, 150 is my hypotenuse. All right, now, then I go to my given angle, the theta across from it is the opposite, we don't have that. And so the side beside the angles are adjacent. So in this case, we have the hypotenuse and the uh, adjacent. So there's my given information written down. Second step, what trig ratio do I have to use? Uh, sine on, nope, I don't have on. Highway, I got the highway. So it's not sine, cozy at home. Ah, I have the adjacent and the hypotenuse, so I'm going to use the cos ratio, cosy at home adjacent, again, divided by the hypotenuse. All right, then I'm going to substitute in my information. So I have cos theta here. Uh, let's see here, the adjacent, that's on the top, so 62 on the top, make sure I get things lined up properly. 150 on the bottom. All right, and again, I can uh, simplify that fraction and make it a decimal. So 62 divided by 150, that's like 0.4 something maybe. Let's see here, 0.41 actually, close. All right, and then for our last example here, we have the cos ratio, we want the angle, so this time again, I'm going to use cos inverse this time. Again, you gotta be able to type that in your calculator, figure that one out. And I get my angle to be 65, 0.8 degrees. So again, follows the same steps as we did when we were finding the side of a right angle triangle using trigonometry. You got to figure out what information you have, what sides do you have, 
Then uh, figure out what trig ratio you have to use. Substitute in your information again, solving depending on whether you're using an angle or finding an angle or finding a side, uh, the ending's a little bit different. All right, so let's stop here. There we go.